Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another movie collection episode to this. Today movie collection is gonna be about my DC collection. And we're gonna try to put these in somewhat order. I got a whole bunch of DC movies to show you. Now we're gonna talk about the forties these we're gonna talk about the forty version of the DC first. Here's the Superman cartoons that was at the theater back in 1941 to 1942. And these were pretty, these were real good cartoons at the time. They they looked better than they the nowadays stuff. And they made they made 17 of these. So you got to see a, a John Wayne movie movie with Superman first. And this is the this is the real one. They made a whole bunch of bootleg version of these on DVDs that were real crappy. This this looks real good, just like it was made today. Sound real good and everything. And then and then Batman came out a year later in 1943 at a, at a serial that you had to go back every Saturday. To, to watch the next episode. And this was the first Batman movie ever to come out. So people got to see Batman for the first time in 1943. And he had to fight a Japanese bad guy who wanted the who wanted the let's see who wanted to blow up Gotham City with a with a power ray. And I'm not too sure if this had Robin. Okay, this had Robin in it. So this was the Batman and Robin movie. But the first one was called Batman. And by this time, Robin was, was in the comic book. So they bought Robin for the, this is, so they bought him for the first movie. And then you had to wait a long time to see anybody make movie until 1948. When they bought, when they bought Superman to the, to the theater. And this was this was the first Superman serial that came out in nineteen forty eight. And this was a real good serial. He had to fight the Spider Woman. All right. Yeah, I think he had to fight the Spider Woman who wanted to take over Metopolis. And the day he planned all that stuff. And this is the only time you get to see Superman went out when I was seeing him in cartoon form, uh, six years before. And then we went to see, then we would see another Batman show, or Batman serial in 1949, called Batman and Robin. And this time, Batman and Robin had to fight the wizard. Now, I think the wizard was homemade. I don't think he was ever in the comic books. So, this is so this is a pretty good movie. It got action and everything. You get to see the Batmobile for the first time in this movie. And if like get to go every Saturday to see the next episode and stuff. Then then, Super, then Superman came back to the theaters in 1950. And this time Superman let's see what the other one was called. Then, then the Superman, uh, Adam Man versus Superman. This was Lex Luthor first time being in the movie. Because Lex Luthor kind of came out, if you want to count the first Superman cartoon, but they call him the Mad Scientist. But people thought it was Luthor with, with hair in his head. When this one came out, he was bald headed. So this was the bald headed Lex Luthor. And this is the first time that you, I think this is the first time that Chris Knight comes into the picture. And this, and these were real good Superman serials that, I don't know if you can still find them. I bought this years about, when this came out in 2006. When I saw it, I had to get it from my collection. And then, then you want to see no more superhero movies. For a long time, or any superhero stuff, until 
52. In 52, you got to see Superman again. You got to see Superman for the first time on television in 1950, I think 52, 51. And Superman was real popular on TV. He would stay on TV until 1956. No, 1957. These are the whole collection. Now, these are kind of my collection because when I bought these, Superman Ray wasn't on, they didn't release anything of his. And I used to watch these on TV in the 80s. And I used to watch this too in the 80s. Because they used to show this at a Saturday morning cartoon. But they showed it kind of, uh, they showed it kind of cut up. Because they took out some, they took out a lot of the gunplay and stuff. This is, this is uncut. When I saw it, it was like the Bugs Bunny stuff. They cut out the violence. So you can get to see as much dynamite and stuff. And then we want to see... We, we want to see no more superheroes until 1966. <sighs> now, I don't know who came first, but I'm thinking this came first. I don't know if Superman or, or Batman came first. But, I, but I'm thinking Batman came first. This is the movie. This is the Batman the movie. The Batman the TV show came out in <coughs> came out in 1966. About boy. Almost ten, uh, nine years later after Superman got cancelled off the TV. Then Superman the TV show came out and it was real popular that it be, that they made a movie. This is the movie. I don't got the TV show. And in this movie, you get to see all four villains. The Penguin, the Joker, the Riddler, and the Catwoman. And I think these people made the best Batman villains. These... That, yeah, because every show, every character on this show, they made them real good. And they all had their own kind of laughs and stuff. And then when this, then after this came out, uh, during this came out, we had, let's see if I can get it, here we go, we had the New Adventures of Superman from 1966, so Superman came back to the big, to the small screen, but in a cartoon form, Filmation made these, and these are real good. They're just, they're not as good as the 40 costumes, but that was theater, so they wouldn't have that. But this is just as good. And this show ran the 66, I think it ran to 69 or 68. But you had these shows, and then while, while Batman was still running on TV for the second year, you had these shows. And they had, I think this came out first. I think this came out first. You had, you had Aquaman Man, who came out in 67. Now, this was a real good cartoon for Filmation. This only lasted from 30, okay, this only lasted for one season. But it had every Aquaman bad guy from the from that time. And then Filmation came out with some more superheroes because you had the you had the you had the D you had the D C superheroes. This this was like no this was uh, the Justice League of America. Them, yeah, that's what the show was called. And you had all the good guys. You had Aquaman, Hawkman, Green Lantern, Superman, Slash, the Atom. And then they made their own cartoons. Hawkman had his own cartoon back in 67. See, Flash had his own cartoon, Green Lantern, the Atom. Then he ended during the same time that Batman ended. And then while Batman was still running on TV, no, Batman was canceled by this point. After Batman got canceled, they filmation
Yeah, Filmation did. Yeah, Filmation made their own Batman show in 1968. A couple of months after Batman got canceled. And this ran from 68 to 69. And this was real good. For for the first Batman cartoon. And this is this is before Hanna Barbera took over the so this was the so this was the last of the DC cartoons that the Hanna Barbera took over and made them even better. So this is Batman the show from sixty eight to sixty nine. Superman let's see, Superman Superman was getting Superman got canceled in sixty nine. So, filmation was done with the comic part of the show, of the the comic part, and then we wouldn't see another superhero on TV until 1972. I think this is 72. Yep, to 1972 when they did the Scooby Doo. Uh, hour-long movie special, whatever that thing was called. And this was the this the, this was just a TV show. They made a, they just released it in a movie form. And he never released two of the Scooby Doo hour hour-long episodes into two into of DVD. So you get both you get both Batman episodes. Let's see, and they both have the Joker in both of these. So then we then we would have to wait a wait a whole year before we would see any superhero on TV, and that would be the Super Friends from 1973. No, not this one. Where the Super Friends? Here we go. Yes, yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be this one. Super Friends Season 1. And this would be where mostly, most of the Super Friends. You had Batman, Robin, Superman. You had Aquaman, Wonder Woman. You had Jan, Marvin, and the Wonder Dog. That's his name. And this ran from 73 to 74. I know it's in here somewhere. I'm not organized. <laughs> okay, here we go. So you had these two shows. And, and he was pretty good for the time. They had that nice beginning theme song. So this is round two and round one of the first season of the Super Friends that came out in 73 to 74. Then we would see, let's see who would be next. Then after 74, we wouldn't see any more superhero stuff until 70, so 77 of the DC stuff. And that would be this one. Yeah, okay, here we go. 1977, we would, they would come back again with another Super Friends show. And now, this was a whole hour show. So you got to see more action and adventure of the Super Friends. And now they took out Jan, Jan Marvin and the Wonder Dog and put in Jan, Jace, and the Monkey. Bleak. So then you had these three characters that wasn't very really good, but they were doing it to add extra character. The, these three did get a comic book in the, like 40 years after this was released. So this was a super friend hour. And then we wanted to see, see this was that year, then we would see Wonder Woman first show ever made a uh, real life show ever made let's see right here and this came out in 70 
Okay, it'll be funny. This came out first before this show came out first. The pilot episode came out in 75. Um, two years before this came out. And then the first the first the first couple of episodes came out in 76. Then 77. So in a sense, this came out first from 75 to 77. Then this came out second. 77. And then one of the moments was still in the ear. Well, see, the next one should be 78 if this is playing, right? I got no hands on doing this the best that I could. Yep, okay, so then you had the second season of Wonder Woman coming out. Wow. Well, let's see. Well, well, the well, another Batman show came out. In nineteen seventy eight. Or this seventy seven. Kinda hard to I don't I'm thinking this is seventy seven too. I think this is the year seventy seven or seventy eight, but this came out during the one during Wonder Woman second season. The new adventure of Batman. And this had Batmite. This was kind of a okay picture. It wasn't as good as this was filmation comeback. And they they kinda messed up when they made this one. They should have kept it like the sixty eight one. But it was updated and add more character to it. And then after that movie, we would see that's seventy seven seventy eight. We would see this we would see another Superman movie come out in seventy eight. Called Batman the movie or Superman the movie. Now this was the first time we got to see Superman in a real movie without it being broken up into chapters. And this was a real good movie for 78. And the technology the technology they used was pretty good. So we had this one come out. And then while this was out at the theater, this came out Christmas. We would have let's see. We would have we would have this. We would have another, another Super Friends, but this is called Challenge of the Super Friends. Now this was real good. This is when the Super Friends had a fight. The just the evil the the Legion of Doom, the Lex Luthor, the Riddler, and all the all the villains from all the all, all the comic books. And then, then we had this one, the the I think they put an hour long TV show at the time. So you had one of these came out first, and then this one. Uh, no, okay, okay, but this one, this one came out first. This one, but they were they were together at back in the seventies. They both came out seventy eight. Well, and then then that was that. Wonder Woman was still making. Her show was so out there. Well, her show was so out there. We had the world greatest superheroes from '79, and they were real good too. They were getting better at the at the picture. While while this was happening, they made a special to have uh, the Legion of the superheroes from '79. While while this was still on TV, and then they made this. This 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 would be. The last time that that you get to see all the superhero in 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 live action for for the seventies, and this is the first time. This will be the last time you get to see Batman and the Flash, Green Lantern. You got to see all these superheroes in per, in live action for the first and last time. Now, Superman and Wonder Woman would not end this special because Wonder Woman was still in her TV show and Superman was at the theaters. 
So they couldn't use the rights to that. And Adam West and Burt Ward came back to do to to do their Batman and Robin. And they did Batman and Robin. I think they came back and did them for the for for one of the Super Friends TV shows. I think they came back for the last one, but we didn't get there yet. And then one of the ones who got canceled in 1979, Batman would come, no, not Batman, Superman would come back again for 19, uh, okay, we can't do that yet. Let's go to 1980. See, we, we got these all in order. I'm running out of buttons. This is the same thing. This is still more of the 77 content that I didn't show you. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say. Plastic Man came out in 1979. He would be the final DC cartoon to be on TV. And it was pretty good. This was pretty good. It went the when I was a little kid, I, I loved it. When I saw it at a grown-up, I hated it. But I bought it because I loved it as a kid and didn't know how bad it was until I saw it again. <laughs> 30 years later, I couldn't stand it. But because this is part, I love DC a lot. I, I need it for my DC collection. And I just threw my movies over the floor. Now, this one came out in 19... 1980. This one and this one. Now, now, Hammer Bear bought these, bought the Super Friends back for the 1980 season. And it was real good. They was, they was like 15 minutes long, but they had two episodes in them, so you got to have a, you got two for, for half hour. And I think that was, uh, yep. Then after that, Superman the movie was was starting to come out. Trying to find here we go. Harvard and that in order. Then you have Superman the movie come out a year later. Superman 2 from 1981. Wow, this was this was real good. You had three villains of Superman. Uh General the the evil general from the Phantom Zone. Now, this character came out in the 66 cartoon Batman show. So you got to see him twice. Cartoon form and real life form. And, I, and he came out again in the 88 cartoon. I don't got that at all. And then then Batman, then the Super Friend came out again in, the, in 81, 81, 82. Yeah. Then they came on 81, 82, and 83. And it was short cartoons. But they came but they came out and they were real good. You got to see more of the super friends. Yeah. And now we had the same care. Now we had the same cartoons. They didn't leave out nobody. So that was good that they kept the cartoon going. Then we would, then 1980. Okay, this one. 1980. This is going to be a year. Make my life easier. 19. No. But this was the next one. I think this came out in 1984. And this was real good. It had a nice soundtrack and everything. This was 1984 for the Super Friends, the Le the legendary superpower show. Now this is when Dark Side came into the picture, and this was darker. This was a, a lot darker than the, than the eighty three and, eight, and now the Super Friends. This would be the last time that the Super Friend name would be in a title. And then we would have the final super the the, the final cartoon of the eighties. Of, of, of all the superheroes put together called the Super Power Team. 
and something on the Guardian. I can't read small print. This came out in 1985. This would be the last time you see all these people put together. And you had you had Firestorm and Cyborg as the two new superheroes. And Darkseid came back again for this one. Now, 85 would be the last time we see any superheroes on TV, at the theaters. We would have to wait until 19... No, we, oh, not really. We would still have Superman 3 to come out in 1983, where you had Richard Pryor play, play Brainiac, and you had the guy from The Man from Uncle play uh, kind of a Lex Luthor ripoff. Now, this is the first time you got to see Brain, Brain, Brainiac versus Superman on any kind of movie. So, this was very good. And they had Richard Pryor play him too, so that was even better. And then we had Superman, Superman Four, the Quest for Peace, from nineteen eighty for nineteen eighty seven. When Lex Luthor come back with kind kind of a bad, let's see, nuclear man. Now I know this video is long, but hey, we got a lot of DC stuff, and I didn't want to make a two part episode. In, this, in these two movies, this movie failed at the box office. This movie still might fail at the box office. It wasn't a flop. This one was a flop. Now we would be almost done with the 80s. Now, 87 was the last time that anyone talked about putting these things on TV, putting, putting, putting any DC stuff on theaters. We wouldn't hear about nothing until 1989. With the uh, with Batman, Batman came back again. Now he been kind of he he kind of got un un unheard of on TV at, in theaters. He remember his last movie was 1966, and his last TV show was 1977. So 22 um, 12 years later, he get his own, he get a movie. And this was a real good Batman, with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson as the Joker. And this was a very PG Batman too, so it had more violence. And then after this, we wouldn't see any more Batman stuff, or any more superhero stuff, until 1992, when Batman came back to the big screen. And this time he was fighting the Catwoman and the Penguin. And this movie was real good, even so it didn't really do good at, at the theater at the time. It made it made money, but it didn't make a lot of money. Then we wouldn't see any more Batman stuff until ninety till ninety two, ninety two ninety three. But I ain't got none of that stuff. So we go this route. That we was okay. This one came out. Batman versus Phantom from. I think this came out in '95. This would be the Bat. This would be another Batman movie that came from the Batman TV show from the '90s, and then Batman versus Mister Freeze would be the second Batman movie from the TV show. I have no. Ooh, when this came out, but this, was the, this came out during the TV show, so it had been like 96, 97, 98, and this would be all the Batman stuff. Now, Batman kept going and going and going and going. He's, he's still going, <laughs> but I don't got any more Bat. I don't got no more DC stuff, so even Superman still kept going. And Superman, Superman came back again for 2006 with with this one Batman Returns see if I'm, yeah 2006 this would be Batman 5 this, and this had Lex Luthor and Batman uh, Superman 5 with Lex Luthor and everybody and this was pretty good for a modern day Batman a modern <laughs> Modern day Superman. 
I've been talking about Batman so long, I get him stuck in my head. The the this takes place after the last Superman movie in 1987. This is part five, and then this would be the last anybody superhero movie until they remade the new. Until they made until they remade Batman. Two thousand, I think two thousand five, two thousand seven, and then they made that new Superman movie. Superman, uh, the one, the one after this one, uh, Superman Man of Steel. I seen that at the theater. That was that was too, that was too long. Batman, Superman, and Batman should it be over two two hours or hour and a half? They run into the two hours and a half or three hours long. Then you just wasting time. And then they made an Aquaman movie, 2017 or 2018. And I think that movie, that was, they came back with more superhero stuff and Wonder Woman on Aquaman was too long. That was the boring thing I ever seen. That movie felt like a two, it felt like two movies in one. And I think that was it. Now they're still making superhero movies. And. This is a two. This is a two-part thing I'm gonna do. Our next part, our part two of this, will be our Marvel collection, and we're gonna talk about how about Marvel, how how they went from who knows from the beginning to to the end. So please like and subscribe, share and comment. I hope you like this this video. I know it's longer than anything I had ever done in my life. Since I've been on this page. And have a groovy day. And our next video will be about Marvel.